Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first three commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fourth, honoring your father and mother. We've talked about how God governs people by setting certain individuals in authority over others, and about the meaning and structure of the family. Now it's time to discuss the second of our obligations to parents and authority figures, obedience. As we said in the last episode, the obligation to obey our parents is something that only really applies before one reaches adulthood. Mature adults making mature adult decisions, such as which job to take or whether or not to buy a car, don't need to obey their parents in doing so. This is one of the limitations of the obligation to obedience. Even for children, however, this obligation to obey isn't absolute, and I think the Catechism does a fine job of explaining just why this is. As long as a child lives at home with his parents, the child should obey his parents in all that they ask of him when it is for his good or that of the family. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Children should also obey the reasonable directions of their teachers and all to whom their parents have entrusted them. But if a child is convinced in conscience that it would be morally wrong to obey a particular order, he must not do so. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2217. This doesn't mean that the child gets to decide whether a specific command is really for his good or the good of the family. What it does mean is that even as a child, if you know it would be wrong to obey a parent or authority figure, you're fully justified in not obeying them. A good example of this kind of situation would be Oliver Twist, a little boy who's adopted by a gang of pickpockets and their leader, Fagin. Fagin teaches the boys to pick pockets for him and steal everything of any value. However, we all know it's wrong to steal. If any of us were in Oliver's position, it would still be wrong for us to steal, even if an authority figure told us to. These are the boundaries of obedience. We aren't obligated to obey our parents as adults, and even as children, no one is ever obligated to obey a command that they know is morally wrong. However, we should obey our parents in other situations. Children aren't the only ones who have important moral obligations when it comes to authority, though. Next time, what kinds of obligations do parents have to their children? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.